Hi everyone, I'm back, just like I promised that I would be showing you guys my current position as far as my wounds go, so I am here um, to explain exactly on the type of medication that I'm taking currently and what is the status on what everything looks like and how good or bad or worse has it gotten since my Humana shot. Um, I'm still... Uh, waiting for the doctors to come back at me with the test, the allergy test, what they're supposed to be doing soon. Um, I do appreciate uh, some of you that are watching my video and are commenting and are subscribing. I really appreciate that, that you guys are following, trying to follow up with me. Um, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, that I will be continuing... Uh, any course that comes along my way just to make sure that you guys have an update on which medications are out there that will work or which won't work obviously everybody's different but um, apparently my body get it adapts to any medication that I take very easily um, so all my previous medications that I've taken like Humira, Orencia, Rituxan, Enbro um, methotrexate, sulfasalazine, my body got immune pretty quickly to it. Um, Humera is the only medication that actually worked on me and I got a lot of energy from it. I felt, which is really weird, I've never felt this way, I felt that I was getting better within the first week, within the first couple, first shot, I just felt that, that rush and um, it was a little scary, but I felt very uh, calm once I got it. At the same time, I was energetic. I was outgoing. I wanted to. I didn't want to stay home, and I had this feeling that I was getting better. Um, but it was. I really got disappointed uh, with the allergic reaction that I got with the last shot, which was my sixth shot, as I was taking every two weeks. Um, so I'm going to go get my allergy test. I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, let you know uh, what goes on with it. And um, I will let you guys know what medication am I taking right now. So <clears throat> the first what I'm going to start out with is this is what I actually dress up like. As far as... The scarf and the coat. Yes, I'm smoking a cigarette. And yes, I know it's bad for you. Very bad for you. But unfortunately, I can't help it. Um, um, some of you know that it's not very easy to quit cigarettes. Unfortunately, because yeah, it's stressful. And yeah, it's bad for your health. But it's not even about the willpower. It's so much about... Who wants to quit when? Um, so soon, once I even start this whole little course about how to quit and what I can do or will do to quit this, I'll put post a video on that as well and show you guys what kind of uh, progress I get with that. Um, I did quit, I'd say about a year and a half ago, for four months. Um, I didn't feel better health-wise, but it felt better. That was the only difference it made. So, let me show you guys what medication am I taking. So this is the medication right here. It looks like that. You guys can see. Put on the other side. No, you can't. Well, oh, I'm gonna spell it out. It's C Y C L O S P O R I N E. Cyclosporin. Uh, it is 50 milligrams. I'm taking once in the morning, once at night. It's a yellow-looking capsule. And. Uh,
quite honestly, it's not really doing much. Not, not as much as Humera did because this I've been taking for a little close to a month or so. So this is what the pill looks like right here. It's, it's a, it's a, oops, there we go. It's a capsule right here. And uh, this is what it looks like right here. This is what it comes in. Um, so, as I said, you can give it a shot and see, but I would prefer Humera over anything. Um, so, come to find out, in my last video I posted that one of my niece's husband had the pilonidal cyst and he got cysts in his armpit along with this in his groin. I just came to find that out like last week. And then come to find out another that one of my nephews related, my nephews, he has it as well. So he's been uh, getting the shots. Unfortunately, they've been, they were hiding it. I didn't find out up until, as I said last week. So now that I know, I've been educating them on exactly what to do, how to do it. Uh, since this is the early stages of what they're feeling uh, So hopefully things work out, but um, like my previous video guys don't wait last minute, please As soon as you feel anything coming just go right at it get the shot done make sure um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys Exactly what everything looks like But this is after to dress up and uh, <clears throat> no matter what, so even if I'm wearing the uh, what a t-shirt, I have to wear it because of whatever I got. And obviously, you can't just walk out like that. So this is that, and obviously, oh my neck right here. I am starting to feel a little bump right here come along so it it did drain um but it just closed up a little bit but i still feel it right here and as you see the pimples are starting to come back my skin cleared up a lot with humero but unfortunately with this uh it's not working out that well everything's gotten worse um and it's been draining a lot, a lot, a lot. This right here on my arm, actually, you might not see it, but right here is right up to the top. There's a bump. And right here, if you see, see all the stains so this is how bad it's just draining now it was completely healed I'm sure you've seen my last videos uh, if this is your first time watching you can just follow uh, the link I'll be posting for some of my previous videos as you see it's very annoying there's a bad odor to it and if you can see how high it comes up uh, and there it is let me put it into the light. So, there it is. It's swollen. It's uh, actually, if I press right here, see that? It's draining everywhere, pretty much, right here. Really sticky. But it's going all the way across on this side. This is starting to come out right here. This is swollen. If you see this right here, this bump. So if you see right here, on the back, that's all trying to get red. Here 
and I believe it is grainy a lot. There's more to it. So it's, it's currently draining. And then, if you see right under here, there's a bump right there if you see it. So that's coming along. And there's another right over here, yep, that, okay, it's coming along, uh, all right, this bump is starting right up here, starting to swell up, I could feel it, it's kind of like coming out a little bit, uh, besides that, This is the hydrate nitrous side of it. I mean, this is still not draining yet. Um, Pylonidal cyst, which I haven't showed you guys, but it's pretty bad. It's draining every day. Um, and that's that. As I said, I will be updating you guys exactly on what goes on with this course um, and while I'm doing this course what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be um, taking <clears throat> the allergy test with Humera and uh, once I get the results on that I will be updating you on that as well I do have an appointment coming up within three to four days so I'm going to post another video find out exactly what the doctors are saying if I should or I should not uh, get the allergy test which I think is uh, stupid because one of the doctors that I did speak to they said that there's no need to get an allergy test although I do have the Humira shot and I do have the EpiPen uh, make sure very important very important um, make sure that whoever starts Humira has an EpiPen I'm sure some of you that have had allergic reactions would know best that EpiPen uh, kind of prevents it or whatever the case may be. I, I didn't do really any research on it, but um, keep that on you at any, any given time. Um, the doctors did tell me to go to the ER and see if I could uh, give myself a shot over there with an EpiPen and be under the supervision, but I sort of don't feel comfortable um, since I've already taken my chances at first and uh, I went through it and passed uh, and got lucky I'm guessing because it was very very bad from what the doctor had told me um, my allergic reaction so just hang tight let me do my thing and I will keep you guys posted. I will be posting a video, hopefully, as I said in my last video, every week. Um, just to keep you keep you guys up to date, because this medication that I'm taking, as I said, is twice a week, uh, twice a twice a day, 50 milligrams. It's uh, I'll write the uh, the name in the description as well, and I will keep you guys posted. And thank you for subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching, for whoever that is out there that is trying to see my videos. I really appreciate you taking the time out and listening to what I got to say. Uh, please, let's let's stick together and uh, raise our voice. Hopefully, someone out there would hear it and uh, they would find something for this thing. But until they don't, I will be doing whatever it takes to get you guys the update on whatever medications that I'm going to be taking for the future. All right, so you guys have a good one. You let me know. Please leave comments. Uh, don't just watch it. At least let me know what you think, what I should do, what has worked on you, what has not worked on you, what have you tried, what have you not tried. Um, so I would know that if you guys want me to try out a certain medication next, then I would do so. Um, I've tried so many because of my arthritis because of my pilonidal cyst and whatever else I got, 
and hydranitis. It's it's really complicated for these doctors for them to give me just any medication because they have to look out on both sides. I'm still taking my prednisone uh, medication for my joints uh, for my juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So along with that, I'm taking this. Um, there was a uh, another medication which I was I might start if this does not work. I will keep you guys posted on the next video on which medication that would be. It is somewhat uh, just like Humira, but it's something totally different, made with different cells. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on that. Let me know how what you guys think about this video. Uh, let me know. If there's anything you guys want me to know, uh, and I guess that's about it. All right. Have a good one, guys. Take care.